in this lecture I will be showing you how to add a parameter to a reference line currently we don't have a reference line in this chart that we created in our previous lecture so in order to add a reference line what we would need to do is you would need to right click on the axis go to add reference line and from here we would like to assign the reference line to a dynamic uh, amount that the user creates so let's say we will we want the user to say that he wants to highlight all the values that are more than or that are less than 50,000 right so what he would need to do is they would need to go to the calculation that we had created and click create new parameter and let's keep this as it is let's add the parameter to the view by clicking on, on OK and show parameter control so if a user types in 50,000 the line is gonna get shown over here but if we would like to highlight all the values before this value we would need to edit the reference line go to fill below and we can say make everything before the the amount that the user selects black and let's keep it at average let's keep it click on OK so now the user can type in a figure and say that he wants to see all the he wants to see all the the states but at the same time he wants to highlight all the states that have a value less than the one that he specifies right here so he can dynamically change it to 60,000 and the chart is going to reflect over here so let's do 75 and currently is showing the average let's click on edit edit reference line and click on entire table let's show the value let's put it on average let's change this to parameter 4 and click on OK so from here the user can select a value and say that he wants to highlight everything before 90,000 and so on so we created three parameters in the lectures we created a parameter to dynamically select the top amount of states that have certain sales we created a parameter that lets you dynamic dynamically modify the measures that we have in place plus we created a parameter on the reference lines that lets the user decide what he wants to highlight or what he wants to see so this is how you use parameters if you have any questions, feel free to contact me through Udemy or through our website. Thank you.